The word Mus'haf is an Arabic word that refers to the physical copy of the Holy Qur'an. So there can be several publications written in different scripts. But they're all Qur'an and they are 100% identical in content. The signs explained in the previous two lessons about the Qur'anic symbols cover all the signs and symbols found in Uthmani Mus'haf, one of the most widely used publications of Qur'an. And I highly recommend watching them before proceeding with this lesson because of the similarities between the Uthmani Mus'haf and all other publications. These are the symbols found mainly in Turkish and Urdu Mus'haf, and that's what they mean. Let's start with the mean symbol, and it is sometimes found written like this in Turkish Mus'hafs as well. And this sign is the exact same as what you will find in all publications of Quran, which is that you must stop here, otherwise the meaning will change, like in this example. وَمَا يَعْلَمُ تَأْوِيلَهُ إِلَّا اللَّهِ وَالرَّاسِخُونَ فِي الْعِلْمِ يَقُولُونَ Now here, because of this sign, we have to stop here after the word Allah. Otherwise, the meaning will change, because then the meaning of the ayah will become that people of knowledge will have as much knowledge as Allah, and that is impossible. So stopping after the word Allah is mandatory to keep the meaning of the ayah straight. Next is a sign that looks like the word qif, and it is exactly what it sounds like. It is the equivalent of the sign qil in the Uthmani Mus'haf, which means it is better to stop here. So you could keep reading, but stopping there serves the meaning better. And therefore, you can compare it to 70% stop and 30% go. Like in this example. وَجِئْتُكُمْ بِآيَةٍ مِّن رَبِّكُمْ فَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ وَأَطِيعُونَ Next is the sign of Ta, and it is one of the most common signs in this publication of the Quran. And it stands for the word Waqf Mutlaq, which literally means an absolute stop. In other words, you are allowed to stop here to take a breath and or discontinue altogether because the meaning of the sentence is completed. Please note that there is no obligation or prohibition for stopping. It merely indicates that the contents of what comes before the sign is not grammatically related to what comes after it. The sentence is completed. Therefore, stopping or discontinuation is possible, like in this example. Now notice here what comes before the sign of ta is a complete sentence. What comes after it, however, is a question, is a new sentence. And this question goes on until the next ta sign, which means that the question is completed. This is the end of the question. You could stop here if you want. There is no obligation, there is no prohibition, it is possible. You can choose to or not to. So you could read like that. So the ta is an absolute stop. Next is the sign of jim, and it is exact same in all publications of Mus'haf, and it is that you can stop or you can keep going. It is like 50% go, 50% stop. It is entirely up to you. Like in this example. يُرْضُونَكُمْ بِأَفْوَاهِهِمْ وَتَأْبَى قُلُوبُهُمْ وَأَكْثَرُهُمْ فَاسِقُونَ Or you could just read the same ayah but without stopping at the sign of jim and say 
يرضونكم بأفواههم وتأبى قلوبهم وأكثرهم فاسقون. Next is the signs of زي and قاف. And both of these signs are equivalent of the sign صل in Uthmani Quran, which means it is better to keep going. You can stop if you want, but it will be better if you keep on reading. So you can compare it to 70% keep going, 30% to stop, like in this example. قالوا سمعنا وعصينا وأشرب في قلوبهم العجل. And sometimes you can even see it along with the word sil, and it gives the same effect. فحق علينا قول ربنا إن لذائقون. Next is the sign of عين, and عين stands for the word ركوع. And it means if you were in prayer, here is a good spot for you to go to Rukua because it is then the ending of the story or the teaching in question. You can certainly stop and go to Rukua at other spots as long as you're allowed to, but there is when it makes the most sense, like in this example. فاتقوا الله يا أولي الألباب لعلكم تفلحون يا أيها الذين آمنوا لا تسألوا عن أشياء إن تبد لكم تسؤكم So before it is the ending of one teaching, one topic and then we're going to start talking about another topic with another teaching, directed towards those who believe. Next is the sign of Sod. And Sod stands for the word Ruhsa, which refers to the possibility to stop here to take a breath without repeating anything from before where you stopped, as long as you will not discontinue reading completely. So, in a sense, it is very similar to the Ta sign, but the only difference is that here, with Sad, you can discontinue or stop reading altogether. فَأَحْيَا بِهِ الْأَرْضَ بَعْدَ مَوْتِهَا وَبَثَّ فِيهَا مِنْ كُلِّ دَابَّ وَتَصْرِيفِ الْرِيَاحِ وَالسَّحَابَ Now here it was possible for me to take a breath after the word دَابَّ because of the sign of Sad. But I should not end my recitation at this point and I should keep going after taking a breath. Next is the sign of Le. And it is the same as other publications too. And it means you cannot stop here while reading and especially you can't discontinue recitation or go to Rukua, like in these examples. يستعجل بها الذين لا يؤمنون بها والذين آمنوا مشفقون منها ويعلمون أنها But sometimes it comes at the end of an ayah and when this happens you will have the ability to stop at the end of the ayah because that is the sunnah but then you cannot discontinue recitation or go to Rukua since the meaning will not be completed or it might change the meaning of the ayah, like in this example. وَجَعَلْتُ لَهُ مَالًا مَمْدُودًا وَبَنِينَ شُهُودًا وَمَهَّدْتُ لَهُ تَمْهِيدًا ثم يطمع أن أزيد كلا. So here I was able to stop at the end of each ayah, but I didn't stop recitation completely because then the meaning is not completed. Next is the sign that looks like the word sekta. And this sign means that you're going to make a very short pause here without taking a breath. Like this example. 
الحمد لله الذي أنزل على عبده الكتاب ولم يجعل له عوجا قيما لينذر بأسا شديدا So here I stopped momentarily for a second without having to take a breath and then I kept on reading because that is what this sign means. Next is a sign that looks like the word as and it means that you will do sujood after finishing this verse, like in this example. After reading this verse, you are supposed to do sujood for Allah. And also pay attention to the fact that sometimes there could be two signs at the same spot. But that doesn't mean that they contradict each other or cancel each other out. They could just work together. Like in this example. Now, as you can see, there are two signs at the end of this ayah. And it means that this spot is an absolute stop. So you can stop if you want because the sentence is completed. And it is also a good spot for going to Rukua. So to recap, meme with its two forms means that you must stop here. Otherwise, the meaning will change. Qif means that it is better to stop here. Anta is the absolute stop, is not related to obligation or prohibition, but it means that it is the end of a sentence at which you can stop or discontinue recitation. Jim refers to 50-50 chance to stop or go. Qaf and Zay, they both mean that it is better to keep going. Ain refers to a good spot at which you can go to Rukua because it's the end of a teaching or a story. Sad refers to a place where you can take a breath, but you can't stop recitation. La refers to a place at which you cannot stop, and especially you cannot end your recitation. And Sakta refers to a very short pause without taking a breath. And Sajda refers to a place where you're going to do sujood for Allah. Finally, please note that stopping and resuming in the Holy Quran is a whole branch of knowledge in Islam. People of knowledge have written dozens of books about it. There might be slight differences between them as we have seen, but what they all agree on is that as long as you don't mean to read the Quran, to deliberately change or twist its meaning, then small mistakes can happen and are forgiven inshallah. And for those who watched the video until the end, I have left something for you in the description, you can check it out. Thanks for watching. I hope you've learned something new today. If you did, please like and share the video for other people to learn from it. And please subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.